the main inspirations for Children of Zodiacs comes from our love of tactical JRPGs from the 16-bit and from the 32-bit era, like Shining Force 1 and 2 on the Genesis and Final Fantasy Tactics on the PlayStation 1. The story of Children of Zodiacs is about a group of thieves. They come from an oppressed class, and they're up against a city that really has no passion for them, no, no interest in them. They're trying to break into the vault of one of the nobles to steal a priceless relic. Things are not going to go exactly as they plan. We approach the art direction of Children of Zodiacs by trying to really evoke the games that we grew up with, that we loved playing as kids, while trying to make it our own. We didn't want to just retread the same ground. We wanted to bring something new to the genre. That's where we look to our other passions of board games. This we knew going in that as a tactical game, combat is a huge part of the game. So we wanted to make sure that what we did with combat would be special. And that's where the aspect of cards and dice come in. The Children of the Ozark is first and foremost a tactical RPG, which means that positioning, aids, and flanking all comes into play. Every hero's abilities like attacks, heal, curses, and special abilities like stealing and stealth are expressed using cards. The player gets to decide what cards each hero brings into battle. He you knows what each hero has, it just doesn't know when he's going to get them. If cards define what's going to happen, dice define how it's going to happen. Dice have symbols on them. They can make an attack stronger or trigger a special effect on a card. These outcomes you'll be able to customize outside of battle by changing the dice you have equipped on your character. You'll also be selecting and crafting your dice so that they fit your unique playstyle. This unique hybrid of tactical JRPG, collectible cards, and craftable dice, this is a combination that we haven't seen before, and so this is really uncharted territory. Going from the AAA games industry to indie has been, it's been an awesome journey. We are much more flexible. We are also much closer to the fans. We get the chance to create something that can touch people out there, not just entertain them. Players will be able to look at our game and instead of seeing this thing that's been driven by like two, three hundred people, it's, it's us. Like that game is like four people. You can see ourselves in the game and to me that's really special. By being indie, we can openly talk about our game. We can openly share it with you. We can involve you in the creation process and show you what's behind the curtain. We already have the funding to finish and release the base version of the game. So we're coming to Kickstarter for two reasons. The first reason is to involve the community in the development of the game. But the second reason is to add more environments, to add more cards, more enemy. And in general, we want to make this game a much more robust game than what we can do currently with the budget that we have. I hope when people are playing Children of Zodiacs that they feel the same kinds of emotions and feelings that they felt when they played these kinds of games as kids. I can see players trying to craft a perfect deck, sharing it with a community, or even getting new ideas, go back to the game and try it out. This is really the type of game where you can own your skill and become a master of it. Big emotions, big characters, that sense that this story is larger than life.